everybody, welcome to Stavanger. We are currently here with our workshops, touring the area, and I thought that today I would show you some of my favorite places in this city. Because, yeah, I have quite a few. I am actually born here, and both my parents are from here. And actually, Bendik's father is also from here. So, yeah, we've both been here quite a bit. I'm currently standing in a playground that is made from materials that they use in the oil industry. And yeah, that is also something you should know about Stavanger. It's definitely very, the city is very tied with the oil industry in Norway. It's kind of the heart of the oil industry. If you are visiting and maybe you just have one day, then it's of course very nice to just walk around the city center a little bit. So we're just gonna start in the city center and then yeah, I think we're gonna maybe show you some other places that are a bit more outside of the center that you can go to if you have a bit more time and that are maybe a little bit more off the beaten track in a sense. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Are you ready? Are you ready to go for a walk in the city? Yeah. So we start our walk by the oil museum and head straight into the more narrow shopping streets next to it. Walking around Stavanger is actually a treat in itself. If you like street art, you'll find plenty of that around. And also there's a lot of cute specialized shops here. In many parts of Norway, shopping streets like these have died out because of the big shopping malls that have taken over. But I feel like in Stavanger, the small local shops are still holding on and it's so fun to just walk around and look into all of these different windows. And some of these shops have been here ever since I was a child, like this tea and coffee shop. <laughs> One main attraction in this part of the city is Farggaten, which means the color street in English. I know this makes me sound a little bit old, but I actually remember when this street was just a white, slightly boring street in the middle of the city center. And I remember when they started painting some of the houses and a few small cafes started opening up in this quiet street. One of them being my favorite cafe in the whole city, Böker och Börst. It's one of those places where you can hide in a corner, drink some coffee and read a book, or go out for a beer with your friends in the evening. And as a teenager, I loved going here to drink hot chocolate because they have the best in town. Many locals say that you need to be careful about what you say when you're here, because your grandmother might be sitting on the table next to you. And generally, meeting people you know in the city is not very uncommon because even though it's one of the bigger cities in Norway, it's still quite small. And it's happened to me many times that I've met my uncles here by chance. From Bökerabörs, there's only a few hundred meters to my favorite shop in the whole city, which is this second-hand shop called Fretex Arkive. And Fretex is actually a chain of second-hand shops that you can find all over Norway. But the thing about this Fretex is that items there are usually hand-picked and really cool. <laughs> While in most Fretex shops you will find a little bit of everything really and not necessarily the nicest things, in this specific shop you will be able to find some real treasure. Cool. 
Hi. And when I say treasure, I mean these like vintage, really one of a kind <laughs> types of clothing. And some other really cool things that are more normal. So now we're gonna head to a different part of the city center to another place that is maybe more of a typical place to go for tourists and definitely worth visiting. We are walking all the way over here and around Vågen and we're going all the way up to Gamle Stavanger, which is here. Gamle Stavanger is Stavanger's old town and is a really beautiful part of the city, consisting of well-preserved old houses, cobbled streets and alleyways. Some of the houses date all the way back to the 1700s and walking around here feels a bit like walking back in history. Most of the houses are lived in today and you'll also find some small galleries and ceramic shops scattered around. If you want to learn more about the history of the city, you can also visit Idis, the printing museum and the canning museum here. And learn more about the industries and the people that put Stavanger on the map before the oil industry came. Personally, I just really love walking around here and especially in the summertime, if you come, you have to see it because there are some really beautiful gardens here. <laughs> By this point, if you're like us, you might be starting to get kind of hungry. And then I actually recommend that you head for a different part of the city entirely, which is called Pedersgata. And Pedersgata really wasn't that interesting when I was younger. It was a few restaurants and this thrift shop. But today it is just this long line of restaurants and there's really something for everyone here. If you're really fancy, this is also the street where you have a few of those Michelin star restaurants. Bendik and I visited two places in this street during the week and both of them were vegan and really good. So I will put their names down below. If you can't find anything tempting here though, or you just want to keep exploring, I recommend following Pedersgata towards Stavanger Havnesilo and all the way to the end. You will find yourself then in a more industrial part of the city, where the main attraction is this old factory building called Tau. It used to be a brewery, but today it is an art center, housing art studios, galleries, concert venues, and a couple of cafes and restaurants. At reception bar and cafe, you can get some information about what's happening in Tau, maybe concerts or exhibitions and so on. Or you could just have a coffee or a beer. This is a known place for freelancers and artists on the house to hang out. 
As many of you know, Bendik and I are also involved in running an art center back in our town, so we always love checking out art centers in other places to see what they have done and yeah, just get some inspiration. We were also recommended to eat at this little place called Forttau and it really didn't disappoint, so I very much recommend it. We are racing because it's getting dark and uh, we have one last place that we really want to show you. And this last place that we're going to is actually not in Stavanger, it's actually outside of Stavanger in Sola municipality. But it's just about half an hour drive from the city center. I would definitely recommend that you go there if you are a person that loves nature like me and you are in this area. So. I decided it was worth a visit, even though it's not in the city. I feel like I have to make a little disclaimer and say that this is definitely not the only beautiful place that you can travel to close to Stavanger city. There are so many beautiful places like Jaren in general, and a lot of tourists also go on boat trips through Lysefjorden and they go to Pulpit Rock. So amongst a lot of beautiful things to see, this is just one, but it is a really memorable one. just such a freedom to be here and I think I'm gonna end the video here now because it's getting dark so it's gonna be a bit harder to show you guys more and uh, I think it's a good place to end my little tour if you're going to Norway you can also go from here to Bergen it's about five hours and uh, yeah I've also made a video about Bergen that you can find if you click the link down below and other than that I just really hope you liked the video and yeah, I wish you guys a great week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye everyone.